In this video, I'll show you how to use the multiple replace feature to replace mistaken words or anything else that you feel has a lot of repetition in your subtitles and needs to be changed all at once. It's pretty simple in subtitle edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit tab here. So I've got my subtitles here and my video here. I know for a fact that the word YouTube needs to be updated because YouTube is written as a capital Y and a capital T. So it's in small and we have another instance here, but who knows how many more instances are available where YouTube is in lowercase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and then click on multiple replace or you can press on control, alt and M, click on that. And once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create or find that particular word, let's say YouTube. And what we want to replace it with capital Y and then U and then capital T tube. That's what we want. And then once we're done with that, you can click on add. Now, once you do that, it's going to give you the couple of instances where it's available. That is the lowercase option. And once it's uh, capitalized or replaced the way you want it to be, you'll also see what you're finding and what is being replaced and the search type is normal. So there is no more case sensitive regular expression. So there's a ton of things. You can also import maybe words that you commonly use and probably you're using the automatic transcription features in subtitle edit that is either VUSK or uh, OpenAI's Whisper. Uh, so you may need to use a couple of these if uh, the different options for automatic transcription and subtitling are missing some few words. So that is something I'd recommend. But once we do this, all we need to do is just click on apply and click OK. And once we look at our words now, the Y is capital, the T is capital, the Y is capital, the T is capital, and all the other instances that we had where YouTube was in lowercase. So that's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. And that is how you can use the multiple replace feature in subtitle edit. Thanks for watching.